Hello, uh, everyone. So it's Taper Talk. So um, this is a after midnight Taper Talk uh, edition. So I want to talk about um, martial arts, mixed martial arts, and the UFC. Uh, what prompted me to kind of do this and talk about this is I was just on YouTube, and here is, there was a clip of my old instructor, my instructor um, back on Long Island, um, Matt Sarah. So let me just give you a little bit of background about my, uh, my training in martial arts. Um, right now I am 56 years old and, uh, I started training in martial arts, um, after high school. Um, I, uh, 18 years old. I grew up in New Jersey. I was going to college and uh, my father was friends with this young guy. He was like 28 at, at the time and Randy Eli, I still remember his name, but he said, oh, he has this school in Patterson, New Jersey and it's a Kung Fu school, Shaolin Kung Fu. And I was so intrigued with this, you know, Bruce Lee, Shaolin and I, my favorite show uh, was, with, was Kung Fu with David Carradine. It was that system, Shaolin, Shaolin Kung Fu. So I was so intrigued with that. And I started, uh, I was 18 years old. Or, I may have been 19, whatever. Somewhere around 1982, 83. And I liked it a lot. Um, the only problem w with it was that it was all form. It was all, the, as they call kata. They called it forms, but the kata stuff. And um, there's a lot of Tai Chi as well. But I studied for a couple of years, but there really was no practical value. Like, there was some control hand stuff, you know. Um, but for the most part, in a real fight, you really couldn't use that stuff. I guess maybe if you were, like, the really high level, like my teacher Randy, um, you know, I, I, I guess at the time he was, like, a fourth degree black belt. But even still, you got... You have to spar to make it effective. Anyway, fast forward. Fast forward. It wasn't until 2007. So, 2007. I am 44 years old. 43, actually. Yeah, 43. Um, January 2007, and uh, I had stopped. Uh, yeah, I quit drinking, and uh, I was like, oh. I just want to get in shape, and I started with yoga, and I, you know, I liked yoga a lot, and I thought it was great, and I go, well, you know what, I, if I'm going to get in shape, I want to kind of, I want to kick some ass too, you know, so um, I uh, uh, started taking Kempo, Kempo Karate, and that was in Belmore when I was living on Long Island, right, so Long Island, 2007, uh, and Belmore, and I loved it. And then I was introduced, my teacher was an obsessive fan of the UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship. And I knew nothing about this, and I'm 44 years old too. So um, he's so into it, and he goes, go watch this. And I go, uh, and I start from the beginning, UFC 1 with the Gracies, remember that? No time limits, no rules, bare-fisted, and I was like, wow! I was shocked and appalled, but intrigued at the same time. And there was the start. I watched, I think, the first four UFCs right in a row. I got all the discs, and I was a madman. I was obsessed with martial arts. And I wanted, we, we started training, even at the Kempo, at the Kempo school, we started mixing in jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, as we know. That's what the Gracie thing is, Brazilian BJJ, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, um, fast forward, I got more into it. And later that year, I go, I want to study with the real deal, the guy who's actually in the UFC. And that man was Matt Sarah. Matt Sarah had a school in East Meadow, Long Island, you know, like a half hour from my house, uh, BJJ school. And at the time, in 2007, he was on the Ultimate Fighter uh, program. It was actually um, season one, I believe. I think, I really think it was the first, yeah, it, it absolutely was the first season um, uh, with Matt Sarah. And he actually, ended up winning the whole thing. He actually beat the final thing. He beat Chris Lytle. And then he was awarded a title shot later on that year, 2008, with the great George St. Pierre. So anyway, um, December of 
2007, I sign up for BJJ, and they go, you know, Matt comes into the school. It's not like he's not just the name here. You could see Matt. Matt is there, and he trains the guys and all this. And sure enough, and I will say this, Matt Sarah has had such an impact on me. You know, it's not like I was buddy-buddy with Matt, but he was such a cool nice guy and what a teacher and uh he loved what was great about matt because everyone was so interested about the stories like ufc what is it like and this and that and you could just talk to him you know it was like a regular guy and right before the fight with george st pierre he goes oh you're gonna go see me and i was it was in uh, vegas or whatever so I, I i go no but you know i'll get the uh pay-per-view and I started talking like a regular guy and I go are you nervous and he goes no and, uh, I'm, I'm ready and uh, you know I feel pretty confident that I'm gonna win and and I said do you ever get nervous this is the way we were talking and he goes he goes no no I do you know he's a human being he goes no he goes the night before I'm shit in the brick you know like I'm scared and and then the day of the fight it's like I'm ready I'm ready to go and all this and uh, uh, so as it turned out Matt Sarah um, Biggest upset in UFC history beats the great George St. Pierre and Matt Sarah, welterweight champion of the world, my fucking teacher, Matt Sarah. So I love Matt. He is just a special person. And not, not only is he uh, one of the greatest Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters like ever in the world. Um, he's just this raconteur. He loves to tell stories, and he's got such a personality. So I'm going to end this now. Uh, I could talk for hours about Matt, but um, I oh by the way, I remember the conversation he, uh, I had with him about Joe Rogan. Joe Joe and Matt are friends. Well, Matt lives on the, the East Coast, and you know Joe lives <clears throat> you know in Los Angeles. But I remember one of Matt's fights, and Joe was calling the fight, and I was talking to Matt, and Matt was kind of pissed at Joe, because Joe said, oh, Matt Sarah, he's got Matt Sarah in a Kimura, this is it, Matt Sarah's going to lose, and, and Matt confronted Joe Rogan, he goes, fucking dude, man, he, I, was not, I was in control of that situation, yeah, he had me in a Kimura, but I was totally in control, it's just a funny thing, you know, these guys, Joe Rogan and Matt Sarah talking, so, all right, let me just play this and I'll end it with this. I see him um, up to seven minutes. But last year, Matt was Matt Sarah was inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame, and he was at a bar the night before, and some drunken asshole was was talking shit. What like fucking Matt Sarah? <laughs> you don't talk shit to Matt Sarah, <laughs> all right, man. So um, and it's hilarious because the drunk is like yelling at Matt and Matt's like so calm like oh, okay calm these on top of him and the guy's like y'all fucking kill you and Matt's like oh, okay calm then it's so hilarious and it's so Matt you know all right here we go um let me go to you here we go now watch this so Matt Sarah versus drunk guy check this out you see that There he is. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. Guys, on the look at Matt. He's just. Calm down. That's kind of pathetic. So, okay, and I believe this guy struck a woman too. So, um, that really is kind of sad. It was just some actually looked like a middle aged guy who was drunk, but um, uh, it, it is interesting. Like, Matt is like the toughest human being on planet Earth. He's small, like, Matt is like 5'6. He's kind of built like Joe Rogan, but even more so. Like, you just look at Matt's neck. It's like, he's, he's jacked. And and he's, his jiu-jitsu is off the fucking charts. Um, he is like, you have no shot with Matt Sarah. Absolutely. Like, you know. So, okay. 
I hope this was enjoyable. I liked it. Going down memory lane, thinking about Matt Sarah. All right.